Hello everyone, this is Daniel again. Uh, we will uh, continue the uh, narration uh, of the different areas of the RuneScape 3 map. Uh, in previous videos, I had shown you the uh, Varak area, the Grand Exchange. Uh, I've shown you Barbarian Village, Edgeville, uh, Monastery, uh, Part of Ice Mountain. We, I've shown you Valador. Uh, and I've shown you the Dwarven Mine. Uh, yeah, so now I'm here in Valador. Uh, I will uh, proceed to show you the Clan Camp, the uh, Crafting Guild, and Remington. Uh, and, uh, if, and then next videos, I will proceed to show you Port Serum, Drainer, and so forth. Uh, so I'm working my way around the map. Uh, so you have a chance to see everything in the videos uh, as much as possible. Uh, so the one way to get to this area, uh, to this area here, uh, there is a lodestone, which I'd also shown you in the lodestone video. The Port Serum lodestone is near Remington and the clan camp. Uh, another way to get there is through a house teleport, but I did not do my construction skill yet. I'm doing the narrated presentation, the narrated tour first. Uh, so if I try to click on that, uh, you don't have a house to teleport to. I've shown you in previous videos in this series uh, where two of the real estate agents are to start that. So you can look back at the previous video for that. Uh, but um, so to save time in this video, uh, instead of uh, instead of walking there, I'm going to uh, use the Port Serum Lodestone. Uh, if you want to know uh, about the Lodestone Network, I have a previous video about that. So here I am at the Port Serum Lodestone. Right, and then, f as you saw in the world map, uh, I would just go from this point, I would go west. So I am going west from here. All right, uh, and if I go uh, a very short ways, uh, here I am in Remington. <laughs> so Remington is a small place. Uh, this is the center of town. If I scroll out, I can see almost the whole town already from here. All right, uh, and all right, so I will act on so we can see where I am at. Uh, if you look at the world map, I mean uh, mini map rather, uh, there are, uh, you can see that there are a couple of quests, one in this building here. So, so this is the start of the quest. I remember the blue star is uh, in the mini map is a quest that once you complete the quest, uh, the newer version of RuneScape, when you complete the quest, the blue star disappears off the map. All right, so. Uh, that's something to know. Uh, so the blue stars that show up, that means that you can still uh, have an, uh, uh, a quest that's not complete. So he, uh, this one is the start of a quest, I believe, which is potion. But we'll look at that in a future series. Uh, looks like there's a star under this water icon, but it's, it's hard to... Yes, there is. Let's be zoom in on the mini map. So there is the blue star. So here's another quest, Peter. Let me restore the new. Uh, I'm scrolling on the middle mouse wheel button. Uh, if you don't have a three button mouse, but the, the one with the mouse wheel in the center, then it be, might be worth getting for this game. Because uh, you have. Uh, some handy features like the scroll, 
there's ability to set up a uh, keyboard shortcut for that. Uh, I covered that in the settings. So you can look back at the settings video uh, about how to open that up and uh, set keyboard settings for that. I mentioned that in the video. Uh, here is another quest in this building here. You know, so and this Lucille, uh, and then if we go, uh, if we go around here, uh, this is uh, the start of the achievement diary. Uh, here is uh, farming patch bush. Uh, we go. Uh, and then here is the house portal. So when you first speak to the real estate agent and ask for your house, they will, she will, the real estate agent uh, dialogue will tell you, I, I will give you a house in Remington. Right, I've shown that in the uh, Believe in the Varak video. Uh, here's the Remington portal. So if you have a teleport the house uh, tab, or if you have the mage, mage open here, house portal. So uh, you have to look for the one with the house. House teleport is level forty. <clears throat> All right. So uh, so those are the ways to get to here to the uh, quickly. Uh, uh, so this is more of a single click. The the major one you have to have three spaces of runes. Uh, you know, then uh, you get to uh, you can use the teleport spell, but you you don't get any experience using this. But uh, if you create the tabs, you make a house. Um, in your house, your uh, uh, there's a table that you can create these tabs, you get experience for that. Or if you actually teleport, you get an experience for that. Uh, and, uh, the south side of town is is uh, there's a few shops here. Uh, this is this one looks like a crafting shop by the icon. Yep, crafting shop. So you can buy various molds and such here. Uh, needles, threads. I already bought threads in the previous video, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let it uh, let it be. Uh, this one here is a the icon says pickaxe shop. Let me see. All right, I got that wrong. Let me see here. What is this icon? All right, that's a bow and arrow, so that uh, helps to zoom in on the map sometimes. All right, uh, so this is a range shop. Right, and then coming over here, the, this icon is uh, some sort of transportation. All right, so uh, I wasn't aware of uh, this. I, I believe this guy sent you somewhere. Uh, it wasn't very popular, so uh, I don't really recall. I uh, believe it's a pirate quest, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it wasn't very popular, uh, so I don't. Uh, it doesn't really strike, uh, come to mind immediately what what that was. But I believe that's part of the pirate quest. Uh, one of them. Uh, we'll cover that in a future video when we get to questing. Uh, and then this one is. Uh, so what icon is this? It looks like cooking. So you have uh, a stove to cook, uh, a sink to fill. Uh, uh, doesn't let you play this piano, but you have an option uh, in your player owned house when you create one. Uh, and if it's still there, when we first open the houses, you can build a, a piano in your house and actually play it. You know, so uh, that was. Yeah, uh, some people actually enjoyed that. Uh, 
in the Santa's house videos, we actually, uh, and one of the people that were participating in that, uh, he loved to, to come in every day and play the piano. So that was kind of funny, uh, uh, fun too. So, uh, on this side of town, right, right south of the portal is the general shop. You know, uh, so that's the same thing in Verac, same thing in Fowder. Both the shop assistant and the shopkeeper keeper have the same inventory. So, uh, we need to find one of those two. Uh, this, uh, let me just uh, mention for those of you who are uh, intently watching these. Uh, this is the chemist. And here is the still. Uh, you will actually speak to the chemist in several videos, and you will actually use that still in several videos. So um, remember where this is because you're going to be using that. It's in Remington. Uh, if you want to get here quickly, if your house is in Remington, or or you have to go to Port Serum and uh, walk a short distance. Um, funny the. They put a new uh, uh, character called Da Vinci in here since the last time I was here. Funny. So that. <laughs> so um, I actually no, this this might be part of a quest. Uh, uh, I, I'll cover this in a future video. Uh, so I don't I'll waste too much time on uh, on this one. Uh, on the mini map, there is a tree spot. So here is a an elder tree. Uh, here's a yew tree. Uh, yew spelled Y E W, not Y O U. An oak tree. So there's some uh, wood cutting spots here. So now working my way um, north and east of Remington of the house portal, uh, we get. Uh, we arrive here. Uh, is oh, that's the house pro. We arrive here at a mining spot. And I'm gonna be hit by the high wind, and so I'm gonna try to get away from his territory. All right, so I'm out of his territory. Uh, here is Adam and Tight Rock. This is copper. Uh, there's going to be tin right there. There's the tin. Uh, and then on this side is gold. Uh, the gold is very obvious by its yellow, uh, orange. Um, uh, okay, it's its own color. You know, it's golden color uh, pieces. The adamant type is greenish. The copper is brownish. The um, the tin is grayish. Uh, some people can actually tell the difference of, <clears throat> you know, uh, they can tell that, that many differences in colors. Uh, they they look like they look like different shades of gray and different shades of brown to me, but uh, oh, well, this is a matter of perception. But I mean, one's lighter, one's darker. Oh. Uh, All right, let me see. Let me make sure that we're going to the right place. Clan camp is north. So going to do north. Uh, so if you want to join a clan or set up a clan, uh, you can do that here. Uh, here is the... Clan Citadel, which you can uh, you can create the skilling plots and you can do uh, activities there. Uh, there's and uh, Santa Elves one uh, one month we I had a theater we used to do performances in there, which was uh, you know nice we had fun with that. Uh, you know we were building skilling and such. It t takes quite a bit of work to to set that up. On coordination between you and, and other players 
There's a lot of uh, a lot of people these days uh, have a hard time working together. So if you have a, a group that wants to work together to to create that, then um, that's great. Uh, I hope you all uh, uh, work that out. Um, um, uh, you're gonna succeed with that. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, yeah, so I covered Clan Camp and uh, Remington. I will uh, I will in the next video in the series I will show you the uh, you know, Port Serum in, uh, in this area here. Uh, and then uh, next, I'll show you. Uh, I'll proceed east, uh, clockwise fashion. Uh, so I'll see you next video.